We are ready. Waiting for there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's exit out of this like we mean to. Hopefully they don't get a lucky shot in on me. That would be kind of embarrassing to say for me, anyways. All right. So here we go. We did see a jet drop going on right there. That is why that second jet is taken off. Uh, as we did see last time, two tanks coming in. I want to begin coming into A. Uh, our helicopter already uh, peppering B right now. We are going to be seeing three players from Extreme. I believe this is Extreme. No, this is Onion. I think. I hope I'm saying it's Onion. I, that would be so embarrassing if it wasn't. But anyways, uh, it said Onion on the uh, the SIBO site. So I'm going to be calling them Onion uh, for this matchup. Three players are going to be able to take B out, uh, pushing mid construction. We are going to be seeing two tanks from Extreme Team or Extreme Gaming. Uh, pushing up over here onto C construction uh, So it should be pretty interesting to see what comes out of that one tank still hanging back over at the a B flag now being contested So we did get one infantry player all the way in the back from extreme Not able really to do much. He did get caught out in the open and taken down uh, We are going to be seeing uh, it looks like the majority of the players uh, or an infantry rather for onion are going to be over there into mid construction a tank way way out here for onion going to be all the way over here onto this flank i i have honestly never seen this before guys uh this is definitely new to me tv coming in bam it is instantly disabled uh you sir are going down and he does uh he should be uh back raging uh, d flag here pretty soon that would be my guess uh, we are going to be seeing a tank disabled over here onto c4 extreme and uh, this is uh, this is going to be you know not that bad of a position. He does have uh, a lot of uh, air cover, so he should be pretty good in that regard. So uh, repairing is not going to be that big of a deal out in the open by himself. Now we are going to be seeing some infantry play over here onto B flag with uh, extreme trying to stay alive over here, but there are a lot of uh, helicopter shots coming in. And uh, it does look like he will get the, the gray out. And he is capping right now. Uh, oh, but he gets taken out over there from... Uh, who was that? That was going to be Basto, I believe. Uh, taking him out over here onto B flag. He does get taken out. 247 to 244. In favor of Onion. Again, guys, this is uh, two flag... Uh, two flag... Four flag map. There we go. 2-2 two -two apiece, which means that there is not going to be a bleed. C flag being taken for extreme. Uh, actually, C flag might get taken for extreme or B flag rather if they are not careful. Tank gonna be pushing in, uh, but uh, there is gonna be one for Onion over there on uh, B construction. Should be pretty nice. Being able to hold it off, although he is kind of out of place right there. Rockets coming in uh, from beach side over onto B. This tank is not in the best of positions, uh, but uh, he should be okay from any kind of a back rage. He does have his buddy over here. That does take one in the ass right there. His reactive is going to be down. If we had some infantry from Extreme over here, that would really be a, a, a one-up. Be able to clear some of these guys out. Again, it is a 2-2 flag. So we're sitting in here. This is going to be a long match, I, I, I'm going to predict, guys. Uh, it looks like the air uh, crews are pretty much uh, keeping each other busy. And uh, we are going to be seeing a nice infantry push coming in over here on the mid-construction. And uh, one tank from Extreme might actually go down right now, uh, and it does. I'm gonna able to take that out and start flashing C. That's gonna be huge right there. If they can get it, will they be able to take out the second tank? They are. But Onion will be losing one of their own, which is fine. That is a good trade. Two tanks for one. And look at the massive infantry. Oh, my God. Five infantry players from Onion going in. But, damn, uh, it looks like uh, Bello was able to take out uh, two of them there by himself. And then uh, Basto able to take out uh, one along with Revolt. So Extreme is going to be keeping this push alive over here onto C flag. Not quite on the burn just yet. They do have to leave C construction to get onto the burn. Uh, but they are pushing in as we speak. And there it is. They are going to be burning this flag down. And uh, if you guys are wondering, the spawns on C flag 4 Russian team are going to be over there. If you look where my crosshairs are kind of pointing. 
that is where it is at. If we look onto the screen here, not going to be seeing any back rages at the moment. Although, uh, we do have one player from Extreme Team electing to go all the way around C Construction. I do like that. Instead of trying to go a straight up fight. And he's going to come around maybe a little bit too much. Oh, man. You had a perfect opportunity uh, to get a pick there. But uh, decided to push on. Maybe he's going to be pushing over into A. Uh, we do have one tank from Onion going to be going down right now from the air. There's that air that I was talking about. Uh, but uh, Extreme coming in with both of their tanks going to be able to, to hold off this push. They will be fine over here onto C flag. But it did get capped by Onion. That is huge. So it does look like... Uh, or Onion is going to be able to take a uh, even a bigger lead. It's 232 to 220, 224. And they're not even really getting the gray out right now. So much infantry over here onto this flag. And it looks like this tank will go down for extreme. I don't even know what the name is. Tiagos? I'm going to go with that. He came in with the tank. Ended up back raging. Getting a good pick right there. Uh, helicopters trying to do some work, but really not able to uh, using that uh, that warehouse for the advantage. We do have the TV coming in. Was he able to get the disable? Yes, he was. Now that right there is going to help them slow down that push just a little bit. If we are looking here, uh, we do have one tank from Extreme pushing in over by warehouse. It's going to be a nice fight going back and forth. Although Onion has the uh, the majority of infantry over here i think that's going to be uh, a plus for them but one does get taken down and there goes the tank so uh uh extreme with the uh, the helicopter there able to uh, take out that tank in warehouse and now we are going to be seeing b flag uh getting burned it looks like uh, Extreme is going to be working their way over here. Uh, possibly have one over into Station. Yes, they did. Uh, he's able to stay alive. Still on the backside right here uh, in this burn. This is going to uh, really, really be annoying to this uh, Onion team. As they have to pull back team. They have to pull back resources. They cannot let them take this flag. Uh, although they are in the lead, 226 to 191. Uh, it is it is growing to a, a very comfortable lead. And here we go. I think Extreme is going to go right onto A. I like that move going right for the gimme flag. It'll be interesting to see what Onion uh, does in response to that, if they push straight on to D or not. Now we are going to be seeing two tanks from Extreme uh, coming in over here onto C flag. They will be power burning this down, and it looks like they will be able to get the cap on it. But uh, they are going to be having to get a, a, a triple cap here pretty soon. We'll be in trouble. A flag is now burning. This is what I was talking about, guys. A flag burning. So... Uh, Youngin is going to have to pull back and uh, get some people over there onto A or they will be getting a triple cap right now and it is going down. It did just now get grayed. One tank up for Extreme getting hit in the rear. That means he's going to be insta disabled right there and he does go down so that's a huge win right there for uh, Onion at the moment. Uh, one more tank is going to be back up over here onto B flag. He's trying to get the gray out. Are we going to be seeing a four cap right now? This is going to be amazingly amazing comeback for Extreme. They did end up losing A uh, station in to get taken down. I think this tank will go down. I don't think it has a chance to really stay up. One rep is out, going to be on it. And I believe that was the driver, and there it goes. It does get taken down. B flag is going to be getting taken back by Extreme. They should, or Onion rather. Oh my gosh, have I been using the wrong names? I'm so sorry, guys. Onion is going to be able to get this flag back. A is now going to be flashing. C is now going to be flashing. And uh, they will be able to get three flags back. So Extreme coming back there, uh, whittling down, I would say about uh, 15 to 20 tickets, doing a really good job, but not able to hold on. Didn't really set up that well. Uh, we do have tanks coming in for Extreme one-on-one -on -one, uh, tank fight coming back but the c4 coming in oh man your buddy just saved your ass right there uh <laughs> able to stop the c4 going in onto that tank uh and he's going to be uh, getting some reps going in so that is some good stuff right there a flag is still going to be burning right now let's go check out a see if there's going to be any kind of a fight going on back here uh, possibly it was cleaned up no i don't know no, it is not. So there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight over here onto A. Let's go back over here onto C flag. Extreme trying to get back over here, get a foothold. But the infantry for Onion has been really, really good so far. Uh, I, I got I to gotta say. Oh! 
Oh, there's a TV coming in, but it's not enough. Uh, another tank coming around on the other side of Warehouse. So we are going to be seeing a nice tank fight coming around here. A little ring around Rosie of the Warehouse. There's some communication going back and forth. He knows that he's there by one of his teammates. Going to be able to pop out, get a nice rocket into him. Is he going to be able to get the disabled? No, he is not. But there comes the TV. God, relentless with these TVs. I got to say, nice TV there. Able to push that tank back even further. Using the helicopters for the advantage. Now it is a 2-2 uh, flag setup with uh, both gimmies being taken by Extreme right now. Onion trying to get this last uh, helicopter down or uh, tank down. And I think they might be able to. One more rocket coming out. Will it be able to do it? No, but it is going to be staying disabled. Maybe they'll be able to get a, uh, a tank coming in. Oh, but we are going to be seeing Extreme being super aggressive right here. Pushing up. Tiago's has to uh, uh, be careful here because he might be uh, getting pinched from both sides. That other tank from Extreme is still up, guys. Ooh, but uh, he is going to be able to get the disable. And I don't think that uh, Extreme is running with a rep in that tank. I don't think he was. Basically throwing away a tank there. Ah, I don't really agree with that. 199 to 169 in favor of uh, Onion right now. And that helicopter up there just constantly doing damage back and forth. I gotta, that is definitely what we were missing in that last matchup. Uh, we are going to be seeing uh, still the two tanks back here battling it. Back and forth, back and forth. Let's look at the map, see if there's any kind of a back rage going on here. We do see jets uh, coming in from D. And Extreme, where are you guys at? Okay, here we go. So they are going to be pushing the backside of Warehouse. And the jet coming in with his strafing mission. Oh, man. And he dies. Oh, no. He didn't even get the tank with it, unfortunately. He did end up getting one person. There's the TV coming in. Gets the other rep. But uh, I don't think that tank is really there in position to capitalize on this. Uh, it is disabled finally with no reps. Take that back. He is finally going to get one rep. Now we are going to be seeing extreme... Uh, coming back around the backside with the tank. It finally does go down. So here we are. They are going to be taking C back. And I think they will be just fine over here. On to C flag. It does look like A is going to be burning. Is there going to be any uh, resistance from Extreme back here? In fact, there was. And it does look like they were able to save it. Possibly. No, it looks like maybe it's going to be nooched out. No, they did save it. So nice job there with Extreme. Able to get a three flag advantage here. Uh, back to the way we were before. Now B flag is going to be the only one that is left. Now remember guys, uh, the air crew is really going to be playing an important role here. To be able to keep this uh, team off of B. And oh, a nice... Nice pickup there from Ungin, able to take that tank down on C flag. They're going to be pushing in from C construction, able to get this burn off. That flag is going to be able to go down pretty damn fast. A flag is going to be flashing at the moment. Let's go back over here and check on it. Let's see what we got. Objective two flat or two tanks from Ungin are going to be back over here onto station 173, 160. Extreme doing a really good job of evening this, this out. We have one player from Extreme going to be sitting back here. Is he actually a recon? He is a recon. Two players from Extreme are going to be back here. Using that AS Val. Able to pick up at least one kill. I see you being super sneaky, bro. I see you being super sneaky. Uh, they will be back here and uh, in position to really uh, capitalize on this flag. Although C flag not quite capped out yet. Extreme not quite coming back. They did even it up quite a bit, which is going to help them out. So now he's going to go into a three flag advantage for Onion. But Extreme is going to be bringing their tanks over here onto C flag. To be able to take out at least one infantry player. And he's going to be able to get the burn. Ooh, but he is going to be getting back rage right now from Onion. I got to say, I have never seen that route really used before. Uh, but then again, you know, it has been about a year since I played 8s. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I imagine that there's some new stress that have come out for it. Uh, he is going to get backraged over onto that side. And it looks like uh, we are going to be seeing a uh, tank on tank fight back here. 
the helicopter did do some massive damage over there, able to take him out. Uh, Extreme pulling up their second tank. I'm going to into C flag. And guys, I do have to apologize for the cast. Uh, I, I, I am tired and uh, I do have a headache. So I am trying to, uh, to stay as positive as I possibly can. But uh, again, this is not normally how the cast goes. Oh, going in with a repair tool. Is he able to get it? Oh, is he able to get this? Oh, he is able to get it. Nice repair tool. <laughs> but he will be getting shot right here. Oh, man. But you know what? Hey, he did his job with a nice repair tool there. Uh, able to take out that one tank uh, from Extreme 162 to 143. In favor of Onion. There goes the helicopters doing some massive damage to these tanks right now. Uh, and we are going to be seeing uh, that route, that crazy route again being used by Onion, by Tiago coming all the way around right there. TV's coming in, smacking uh, Extreme's tanks around. And the TV's have just been utilized so well this matchup. Uh, able to really, I mean, lock down a lot of these tank positions uh, that you normally don't see uh, tanks being uh, pushed around in. I have never seen that route being used, guys. I, I really have not. Uh, but uh, B-Flag is going to be getting flashed right now. Onion is getting pushed back a little bit right now. 157 to 138. Only a 20-ticket game. Uh, that is a lot different than I believe it. We got up all the way to 40 tickets. Onion pushing it into C-Flag. And uh, Tank going to be able to lose a couple of his reactive panels. But uh, Extreme is going to be bringing up a tank into on the backside. It looks like the backside of uh, C-Warehouse. You like that play. Oh, TV coming in. Like I said, going to be able to get the disable off onto that tank. No problem. And going to be able to kill it. That was going to be Roto right there. Nice job. And uh, two tanks from Extreme are going to be coming into C flag. Should be able to get this burn pretty easily. 155 to 130. Onion, not quite able to really do anything uh, after that initial push. I mean, they've... they've They've been able to get C flag back and kind of gain their lead just a little bit, but they weren't as dominant as we did see before. Uh, remember, guys, there was a slight four cap there, uh, right there at the beginning. Infantry coming in over here onto C, gonna be able to get that tank. Wow, did that tank? Okay, he just got disabled right there. Uh, I believe that was by a TV. I don't know. It was a massive explosion, uh, but uh, did clean up the rest of the onion players over here onto C. And uh, we are going to be seeing uh, one tank pushing all the way on the backside. There's the TV from uh, Roto. Taking that down so easily. And uh, we're going to look at our mini map right here. Going to be seeing some mines laid out. I do like the mines being laid out. I think that maybe there should be a little bit more. I uh, could really stop some of this tank movement going back and forth. Uh, it does look like that uh, Extreme is going to be pushing in into B. And they do have somewhat of a comfortable position. They have some players over into to mid construction. Uh, and again, guys, the spawns are going to be over there by those rocks. Uh, one player from Ungan is going to be over in the station. But, you know, if Extreme spawns maybe one more infantry over here, they should be able to take B no problem. Uh, but at the same time, we are going to be seeing a uh, back rage coming in from Onion and a nice little 2v or a 1v1 tank battle going back and forth with Extreme spotting that. So hopefully they'll be able to shift some players around to be able to, uh, to, to counter this. Oh, here comes the tank coming around the corner. This is not a good thing to be in. Extreme able to take that out. And they're going to be able to will these tickets down. This is exactly what they needed to do. We are going to be seeing a spawn bomb over here. Uh, on the back side of C. Oh, A flag is even being taken right now. Uh, unfortunately, I did not uh, mark that in my waypoints, but A flag is going to be taken by uh, by Extreme. They do end up getting the gray out, and we're going to be seeing another four cap from Extreme. And even though we have seen one before, they weren't able really to do any uh, damage. That, uh, they didn't even get take the lead, but 123 to 117 with Extreme about to take the lead. That A flag is uh, going to be uh, taken right now. Let's go back over here onto C where we are going to be seeing two tanks uh, blocking. I like that uh, position we're blocking on. Actually, let's go back over here. Uh, let's go up here and check this out. Ooh, a nice switch right there. 
uh, for helicopter pilots to be able to get that uh, uh, that extinguish off. And we are going to be seeing some long range fighting going right here. Uh, Onion trying to strafe that A flag but uh, not really able to do a whole lot of damage there. The tanks, and this is the, the part where A is just so hard, guys. Uh, they are going to be bottlenecked in here pretty bad. Let's look at the mini-map right now. D is going to be flashing, so there's that de desperation move that I was talking about. Uh, he will be able to get that at least nooched before any response from Extreme is able to get back there and take care of it. Uh, and like I said, that's going to be taking at least one tank away from the battlefield. It's what they need to be able to do. A D flag is now grayed out. A now is grayed out. Will they be able to get the two-two flags uh, with Extreme taking the lead for the first time in this matchup? Ninety-four two one twelve. You see two players pushing beachside right now from Onion. Wow, 21 and 5. Awesome job there. He's got to be the one in the helicopter uh, or possibly in a tank. And uh, we are going to be seeing Extreme's tank getting back into position. One player from Onion's going to be pushing up into B to start this burn. Not really a whole lot of opposition. He should be okay. Some long range tank fights going on back and forth. Let's go back over here onto D flag. I believe, uh, wow, I think somebody actually just got a suicide right there, unfortunately. Let's check this out. It looks like Extreme was able to hold on to it. Uh, Onion does have uh, one player, it looks like, back here. Still two players but with the spawn beacon. So this is what I'm talking about. It's so hard to clear this out, especially if you're in the tank. That is pretty much the ideal way uh, to be moving around this map. Now we are going to be seeing some infantry coming in uh, over here onto top warehouse. Is he going to be able to take them out? Yes. That was PV taking out revolts. So they should be fine over there onto D flag. And is now reset to a 2-2 flag. Oh, Extreme here getting pushed off of C. 82 to 108 in favor of Extreme. And it looks like the tank did end up going down, but he did trade out tanks. But Onion having just too many infantry over here. Going to be able to take that out. Now we are going to be seeing a Jeep coming in here. He did drop off at least one empty. One player does go down. Is he going to be able to get the back rage? He does get one. That's PV. Is he going to be able to clean up the rest of them? Yes, he is. Wow, PV right there going clutch. Able to save the C flag. There's only one more person left on it. And they are going to be able to get the spawn on them. Yes, they are. Wow, nice job there from Extreme. Able to uh, save the C flag. Keep it from getting capped there at the last second. Now we are going to be seeing Onion over here with a disabled tank. They are in a little bit of trouble. In fact, I think they're actually getting a back rage at the moment. Yes, they are. Uh, there it is. Extreme able to get a, a slight back rage over here on this tank. I believe he just lost positioning on him. And uh, Extreme should be able to win this fight right here. And they do win the fight. That's going to be scared going down. But uh, at the same time, that tank is going to get a back rage from spawn. And he should be uh, he should be okay there with his rep. He just needs to be kind of getting out of the line of fire at the moment. 69-2-102. In favor of Extreme by about 30 tickets. Uh, definitely a turnaround from the way the beginning of this matchup was going. Uh, Onion able to cap out D right now. Being so annoying. A nice little infantry battle going back and forth here. Uh, is Shreem not able to stay alive, but Roto coming in with the helicopter, able to get the uh, the pickup there with the gunner. We're going to be seeing another repair torch. Oh, trying to, but uh, yeah, Basta was just not fast enough. He gets taken down, uh, and there's that spawns that I was talking about for the U.S. team on B. Nice TV from Roto. I think it was a little bit overkill, but hey, who am I to judge? B flag is going to be taken by uh, Extreme at the moment. Two flags on it. They're trying to go for this quick burn. Uh, they... They know this is going to be a very close game, and they have to play the hard side for this next round. So uh, they need to be winning as uh, by as much tickets as they possibly can. Uh, a few players from Ungen are going to be trying to go over into mid-construction. In fact, they may even bypass it completely and go straight for that C flag, which we are seeing it getting burned right now. Boom! If you saw that tank right there doing a flip, I don't know what the heck that was, but that was quite impressive getting taken down. Uh, and that guy, I think, was just, like, stunned. Like, holy crap, that tank just did a flip. 
But uh, <laughs> uh, these two tanks right here are going to be over here onto B flight. They should be able to get this burn, no problem. Scared, the only one left. He's just being a complete annoyance right here. These tanks not able to take him out just yet. C flag is going to be burned. Uh, nice infantry fight going back and forth. Looks like one player from Onion is going to be able to stay alive. Oh, able to take out PV right there. And I think they are going to be able to get the C burn if that tank doesn't come back. And unfortunately, it does. So it does look like the uh, uh, C flag will go into the favor of Extreme once again. Oh, maybe not. We do have some infantry uh, spawning in. But uh, here comes the second tank from Extreme. Yeah, hello, guys. Meet my friend, the tank. And that, uh, oh, he's going to be able to take the, uh, oh, no, no, no. His buddy was able to clean that up just fine. Uh, now B flag is actually flashing. Onion's gonna be back over here now. Remember, guys, Onion has had the gimme flag uh, for Extreme for quite some time now, which means that they have been able, while while they haven't had B or C for the majority of this uh, the 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 late game, they have had uh, D's, which means that it's been a two-two flag. So fifty to eighty-three, it's but it's a thirty-ticket game. And really, it is not out of the realm of possibility for them to come back and win this matchup. Uh, we are going to be seeing, uh, I believe that's Tiago, going all the way over into that weird route like he has been this entire game. Uh, possibly going to be backraging C right now. Uh, but we will be seeing Extreme, I believe, pushing A flag. Uh, going to be seeing a tank fight coming over here. And Extreme going to be coming out with his rep. And yeah, this, guy, this tank is going down. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Extreme there. Not able to stay alive. Uh, with his rep, but uh, we do have one left, and he does get taken down. So, uh, extreme able to stay alive there and take out one of the onion tanks, which is going to be a plus for them. Here we go. Is this going to be a jet drop? What is this? Oh, we are going to be seeing a slight jet fight. Let's take a look at this right now. Oh, nice. This is going to be able to take that out quite easily. Let's jump over here to this helicopter. And sorry for the audio there, guys. Did jump out. Let's go back down over here. Oh, going back into it. Oh, so bad. Anyways, we are going to be seeing the tanks getting peppered from spawn. B is now going to be flashing. D is going to be flashing. So it looks like Extreme is going to try and get back up onto D flag. Uh, only one empty left. That's going to be Basto up onto B. That gets taken out so easily. And with both tanks over here onto B. Looks like Extreme will take this down. No problem. A is now going to be flashing for Onion. They are uh, really kind of just falling apart here little by little. Uh, but it should be okay. Trying to get that repair torch but not able to do it. I believe that was going to be Bello. I got taken down. Sorry guys for these names. I am not used to casting these guys unfortunately. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do more of their games in the future. Getting peppered from that helicopter. And there we do see the TV going down. Uh, here we go. One tank. This is going to be Tiago, I believe. And he's going to be getting onto the Seaburn. 40 to 77. Guys, this is an extremely close match. Uh, uh, an extremely long game, too. I do apologize uh, you know, for it being this long. Oh, there's the nice TV missile coming in for the tank. Going to be able to get the disable on him. And uh, at the same time, it looks like Extreme is going to be coming around with their own tank. to be able to take that out quite easily. And guys, I do apologize. I just noticed that the, uh, the, the scoreboard was not active. So uh, yeah, you guys were not watching the active scoreboard the whole entire time. Uh, sorry about that. Again, guys, this is a new setup. So there are gonna be a little bit of uh, bumps and bruises along the way. B flag being taken back by Onion, but I think the helicopter should be able to uh, really uh, take this out for them. And then plus with the tank coming in on it, it's gonna be no problemo. It should be able to keep it 35 to 73 in favor of Extreme. Extreme really gonna have to be on their game in this next matchup. I don't know if they were just like maybe uh, a little bit shaken or a little bit uh, rusty there at the very uh, the very beginning. But hey, you know, maybe they got their uh, got their boots on. They're ready to rock and roll. Shook off the nervousness. Has been so 
look at the mini map here. It does look like a, we still have two infantry on the back side of the station. They get taken down. Roto being so annoying. Let's see what Roto is actually up to right now. 25 and 3. Holy crap. 35 and 6. I believe that was Cottel? I don't know. I do apologize, like I said, for the names. And Extreme right now just being really dominant at the moment. Uh, as, as I say that, though, C-Flag is going to be going down. Or rather, I'm sorry, guys. A is going to be getting capped. So it is going to go back to a 2-2 flag. 26 to 62. And you're not going to be seeing Ungin really backing off any at all. Because remember, guys, they will be having the easier side in the next round. Which means that uh, they need to be whittling down these tickets as much as possible. Jihad G possibly coming in here. And that gets taken down really fast. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he was doing. Maybe he was trying to end the round just a little bit faster. And again, using those TVs, coming in, just wrecking these tanks. Oh! I believe... Oh, shoot. I don't know what happened. Guys, technical difficulties. Ah! No, don't do that. Okay, that was what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's better. Seeing it from the view of the helichopper. And uh, that is what they're seeing right now. Be worried about this jet over here, this jet on jet fight. Oh, shooting down the helicopter. Are they going to be able to take it out? I do believe that we just saw the switch right there. Oh, but he is going to be getting taken down by the jet. And the jet actually getting disabled. Wow, nice job there. I believe that was the helicopter crew, but the helicopter does get taken down. Let's see what this jet is going to be able to do, because now the other helicopter is completely undefended. Uh, is he going to be able to uh, to come up and, and, and finish the job? Not really sure where he's going. Let's see if he's going to be able to get any kind of a... Uh, a shot off on this helicopter doing some loop-de-loops here. I think he's just trying to show off for the camera And getting hit by the C-Ram Not a good spot for him to be in. Let's jump over here. Uh, we are going to be seeing uh, D-Flag being taken by Onion And also B-Flag being flashed by Onion By at least one infantry. You're going to be seeing some tanks going back and forth uh, From some long-range tank fights actually uh, he's going to be finally getting that uh, the repairs going out. Who is that going to be? Sacred? So, back to a 2-2 flag. Let's jump over here to D. We are going to be seeing some infantry for Onion. Extreme trying to clean this out, but there's so many spawn beacons in here. They do get one, but there is another extreme going to be moving in to this top a warehouse. Objective has been neutralized. Oh, they are able to clean up one. That's going to be Basto. I believe that was the last player on uh, on D flag. C is now being taken completely uh, clear or grayed out, and we are going to be seeing a tank. Tank one tank for extreme is going to be back here now. A second coming in. So Onion getting the three cap there at the last second, 16 to 45. If they are perfect on their reses and they are perfect on their uh, their placement with the tanks, they can come back and win this right now. Three flag advantage going to be in for Onion. Oh, nice TV from Roto going to be able to finish that off, no problem. And oh my God, a suicide jet I believe coming in, uh, trying to clean up that tank, and I believe they did. No, they did not. Uh, but uh, infantry coming in uh, from the backside going to be able to hold C flag 15 to 36 guys Every ticket that they burn off is going to make it a lot easier for them to come back in the next matchup and clean this up It is now going to be 13 to 34 a flag is now going to be flashing C is going to be flashing with a tank from extreme extreme should be able to take this no problem There's only one infantry back for iron And I gotta say, guys, both of these teams just putting up one hell of a fight. We all saw some great air battles, some great tank battles, and the infantry play was not bad itself. Saw some really good pushes from Onion. 
and uh, those fights over onto D were pretty impressive. Also, uh, we are going to be seeing a back and forth. One player from Onion is going to be Pinga, I believe. Going to be over into mid construction with an assault class, not able to do anything. Seeing some rockets coming in over here from Spawn. Now Onion losing all of their flags except for A. It looks like six to twenty-seven. Doing exactly what they needed to do in this matchup. And right now it is going to be basically extreme waiting for the burn. In fact, well actually maybe what what's going on over here on the C flag? Sorry I missed that guys, but there is a slight infantry fight going over here onto C. Let's chalk that one up to uh, fatigue. <clears throat> we are going to be seeing uh, Tiago coming back over here with the tank. That gets taken down with the jet. And there it is guys. GG's to both teams. Extreme coming out on...